from trees with unique births to ones that are all the colors of the rainbow. Be sure to join us as we show you some of the most amazing trees in the world. Twelve, the double tree of Casorzo. Let's start off with a tree that is technically impossible, yet that doesn't stop it from growing. In Italy, in the place of Pimonte, there is a tree that is much more than what it seems. Because at first glance, you would believe that it is one rather exotically shaped tree. But that's not what's going on here. Because if you get closer, you'd notice that the bark and branches aren't from the same species. For this tree is both a cherry tree and a mulberry tree. Yep. It's a tree that is literally two in one. To be clear, there are trees and other plants out there that have done similar things. This is known as a parasitic growth, where they latch onto another fully healthy bean and grow alongside them. But there are a few key differences. Mainly, in those instances, the attached plant only covers the tree plant and grows in a certain way. However, the double tree of Cazorzo is rather unique because of its size. These are two trees growing on top of each other and expanding their branches to impressive lengths, far more than should be possible or even likely. Due to this, there is no current explanation for how it happened. Most times that a double tree occurs, they are small and do not have a long life. Yet this one has lasted many years and is an impressive size in regards to both trees and their massive branches. There are certain theories as to why this happened, including birds dropping seeds of one tree onto the other and somehow growing at the same time. Regardless of the hows or the whys, this tree really does exist, and it could turn a few new pages in regards to how trees are thought of from now on. Number 11. General Sherman General Sherman is a high-ranking officer in the… oh, wait, wrong General Sherman. One sec. Oh, right, trees. Well, the tree known as General Sherman can be found in Sequoia National Park, California. And in that same park in the United States, you'll find out that this particular tree is a bit of a landmark. Not because it was planted by someone famous or that it was part of some great moment of history, but rather, it is history. Because in the world today, General Sherman is the biggest tree out there in terms of volume. To be clear, it's not the tallest or widest tree in the world. But in regards to the room it occupies and how much weight it contains, it is indeed the biggest. And also, it ranks among the tallest and widest trees in the world, thus helping its volume get to where it needed to be in order to be number one. If you want specific dimensions, its height is 83.3 meters, 275 feet, and its diameter is 7.7 .7 meters, 25 feet. So yeah, that's a pretty hefty tree. But to be fair, it did have some time to get that way, as estimates put the tree between 2300 and 2700 years old. No doubt, when you go and examine this tree yourself, you'll feel pretty tiny. 10. 1400-Year-Old Ginkgo Tree Sometimes it's not just the trees themselves that are amazing, but some of the things that they do that can be truly spectacular such as if you were to go to China to the Gu Gunyan Buddhist Temple in the Zongnan Mountains. You'll see a 1,400-year-old ginkgo tree that does quite a neat trick with its leaves. Mainly, this beautiful tree has scores of yellow leaves on its branches, but then, every November, the leaves start to fall off the tree. Nothing special about that, right? Except that because there are so many leaves on the tree, it doesn't become barren, and in the process, the leaves on the ground fall in such numbers that it creates an illusion of sorts on the grounds in regards to making a yellow ocean. It must be a true sight to behold in person, and because of that, many people go to the temple simply to see the tree and witness the beauty of art that it helps create in its landscape. Plus, with it being over 1400 years old, that means that people have been appreciating it for over a millennia and a half, and hopefully for many more years to come. Before we plant a new tree for you to admire, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our weekly videos. Number 9. Rhododendron Tree Here's another tree that leaves an ocean of leaves in its wake, but it's also one that is a bit controversial in its own right. Because while the rhododendron tree is called a tree, most people don't call it that, mainly because when it comes to the size requirements, it's not a tree. It's more akin to a shrub. 
But then, someone on Reddit one day posted a pic of a massive rhododendron tree in British Columbia in Canada, and it basically put the debate on rest to whether it was a tree or not. I mean, look at this thing. So why is this one so big and the other so small? Well, as in all things, it's a matter of timing, because the person who planted this tree did it over 125 years ago. So by the time you fast forward to when the picture was taken, and yeah, it had a lot of growth on it. But just as important, it's a very beautiful tree with all sorts of flowers growing on it. 8. Avenue of the Baobabs One of the beautiful things about trees is that they can come in all shapes, sizes, and colors, but just as important, they can adapt to survive in their environments. Such is the case you'll see in the Avenue of the Baobabs in Madagascar. One look at the Baobab trees and you'll know for sure that you're looking at something unique and special. Technically speaking, the Baobab tree family is full of nine different species. Six of them, though, are in Madagascar, and many look like these because of the different climates than the other ones live in. The others look like massive bushy trees, but here they've adapted to ensure that the branches and leaves that they have high up get exactly what they need to survive. The locals of the area in Madagascar where the Baobabs reside in is actually one of the most popular tourist spots in all of Africa. Good to know people appreciate trees from all over. Number 7. Japanese Maple Just on looks alone, the Japanese maple tree is pretty amazing. The winding branches, the colors of its leaves, it's all really good stuff. But in the Japanese garden in Portland, Oregon, you'll find arguably the most famous Japanese maple of all time, mainly because this tree is so beautiful and so famous that it has been featured on National Geographic. Still not enough for you? Well, the common man loves it too, because they made their own Flickr group documenting the beauty of this tree. And social media can't be wrong about something like this, right? I'll move on. The big allure of this particular Japanese maple is that the leaves have a wide variety of colors. They gleam in the sun and they create all sorts of great pictures if you're willing to go and get a good shot. So if you're in the area, you should definitely go and look it up. 6. Dragon Tree Alright, you know you're epic when your name is literally Dragon Tree. Or in this case, it's the Socotra Dragon Tree, which is located in Socotra, Yemen. This truly is unique and amazing for a whole host of reasons. Let's start with the obvious, its canopy. This tree has a very unique setup where the leaves and branches form in a way that makes it basically completely enclosed. This is to help the water of the tree not be wasted or evaporated, as well as help give more shade to the tree in the hot sun. Then there are the berries that comes with the tree. They're small and juicy, but just as important, they have a red resin with them that is reminiscent of dragon's blood, hence the name of the tree. Finally, for whatever reason, the dragon's blood tree only grows on four islands in the world, all of which are part of the Socotra Archipelago, which are just off of Yemen. No one knows why it is that way, but it's amazing to think about how unique these trees are that they only live on these islands. 5. Methuselah if you know your religion history, you'll know that the person known as Methuselah was a person who lived over 1,000 years, making him one of the oldest people to ever exist. This term is used to show the age of many various objects, including trees, one of which is the bristle cone pine that can be found in Inyo County in California. This tree is actually many times older than Methuselah was back in the day, as this tree is reportedly over 5,000 years old. That's astonishing to think about that this tree has been around for that amount of time. Think about all the things that it technically has witnessed, both in terms of man and nature. It was around long before Europe started to settle the West, and when the Native Americans were the only people really on the United States. Now, to ensure that the tree is protected, the exact location of the tree isn't known, as they don't want it to die to anything other than natural causes. Oh, and just so you know, this isn't the oldest tree in the world. There's another tree close to it that's slightly older. There's always competition. 4. Windswept Trees One look at these trees and you might think that you're looking at a fake picture or something from a movie. But this is indeed a set of trees that grow and exist naturally. And they are this shape because of the very natural and devastating winds that happen in the area. Specifically, you'll find these windswept trees on Slope Point, the southern tip of New Zealand. This area has an important location, 
because this place gets winds of great intensity coming straight from Antarctica. As for the trees themselves, they may not have started out that way, but over time, the winds become so routine that the trees honestly grow out their branches at those odd angles to make sure that the winds don't affect them that much. Ironically enough, these trees were planted by farmers who wanted to give their sheep a place to relax, and thanks to that idea, we have some of the most unique trees in the world to view. Number 3. The Dark Hedges In Northern Ireland in the 18th century, a family planted a set of trees in an area and let them grow. Fast forward to now and you have the Dark Hedges, a road that is underneath a set of trees that appears to wrap around each other in a natural yet very odd way. Due to this odd formation, many people come to this part of Northern Ireland to see it for themselves, but arguably, that's not the most amazing part. What is? Well, this area is so unique that the now-finished HBO series Game of Thrones actually used this area in their production. It's the road that leads in and out of King's Landing. That's a piece of trivia that I think will bring many fans to Ireland. 2. Angel Oak Tree Usually, trees have a sense of direction when it comes to their branches and leaves. Mainly, they tend to go upward and then grow either up or down. But in the case of the angel oak tree that is located in Charleston, South Carolina, you'll notice really quick that this tree doesn't follow those conventions. Mainly, it has branches that go both very high in the air and also go right down to the ground, creating a very unique and oddly fantasy-like look. This makes it a big tourist attraction, but it also makes it a big place to relax as the tree covers over 17,000 square feet of area, creating a lot of shade in the process. Number 1. Wisteria I won't lie, when I first saw pictures of this one, I couldn't help but say, wow! Because in Japan right now is a wisteria tree that is over 144 years old, and it's one of such beauty that you will be stunned by it. If you can't tell, this tree is truly massive, which adds to its beauty as well as its legend. After all, it's the biggest wisteria tree in Japan. It's so big, it actually takes up all told about half an acre of land. That's a really big tree. Well, technically it's a tree. It's also been defined as a wealth of vines. It's a little confusing, but the results honestly do speak for themselves. The tree was planted back in 1870, so there's basically 150 years of growth with these vines, and it's a wonder to behold. Just as interesting, though, due to its size, the vines are actually held up with supports, and they're lit up to help accentuate the beauty of it even more. Thanks for watching, everyone! What did you think of these truly amazing trees? Can you believe that some of them exist in the world today? Do you want to go find seeds for some of them and plant them at your place? Let me know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel!